Hi you guys, it's Margaret and I'm going to show you how to use the Moodle Quiz Generator um, tool. So obviously you've already extracted it um, and so now I'm going to go into Word and I'm going to go to File and what you want to do is you want to open up this document, the copy, paste, edit this one for Word 2010 that lives in the, um, that lived in the uh, B21 um, template zip file. So I open that up and what that does is it gives you this toolbar up here and for me the first several times I used this, this toolbar was in German and for whatever reason it's now in English which is cool. The only thing I use this toolbar for is to export to um, XML. I like to use the styles toolbar for um, formatting the actual questions. I haven't played around too much with this but you know for me I'm, it's more comfortable using the styles toolbar, toolbar so I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to paste in a quiz and here we go. So here's a quiz that I got that was living on another Word document. I just copied and pasted it and at the, up at the top it says to write the question category here and the topic quiz name. So I'm going to, you know, it, what this will do when you export it is it will create a category if you haven't already created one. So I'm going to say this will go under category of quiz one and I'm going to call this quiz fallacies. Okay, so that's what you do there. I'm going to go back into the bulk of the document. I'm going to get rid of this heading because I don't need it. It doesn't apply. I'm going to get rid of the directions. Okay, and I don't need this. So now my job is to format these two true-false questions and this last multiple choice question. So I'm going to go to home and I'm going to go over here to where it says styles. I'm going to click on this little button below everything right there. That gives, gives me these styles. And you note that there's new styles in here. There's questions. Here's a matching question, matching fixed answer. Here's a multiple choice question that I'll use for question three. Um, if it's true false, you're going to select it and format it as a true statement if the answer is true. And if, if it's a false statement, you're going to format it as false. So I'm going to take the first one, which is a true statement. I don't need the word true in there because we don't want the answer in there. I'm going to select it and I'm going to say you are a true statement. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of the word the answer false because we don't need that there. I'm going to go here and this we said was a false statement. So you'll see now that's red. This right here is a multiple choice question so I'm going to say select it. I'm going to go, it's a question which means I'm going to have to provide an answer and it's multiple choice, okay, and I'm going to go here and say, oops, uh, true on Wednesdays and Saturdays. There is no wrong answer to this, so, um, so I'm going to um, make all of them right answers. So, let me, I've got to find where it says correct, there it is, correct answer. There's one correct answer. There's another correct answer. There's another correct answer. Now, if, it, if this answer was incorrect, I could just select it and I can say incorrect answer. Okay, now it's formatted to be an incorrect answer. Get rid of the semicolons because they don't belong. So that's how you do it. And then once you've played around, you've copied your text in here, you've selected and then told it what kind of question, then, and you're ready to go, all you do now is export it to the XML. So I'm going to go up here to where it says Moodle Quiz, and I'm going to say export to XML. And I'm going to call it Quiz 1. And I'll put it wherever I want to put it. And I'm going to save it. And then you just go into Moodle and import it in. And it, it works pretty well for me. So there you go, guys. Bye.